being independent is very important in life. But most times, it just means that you understand and control how dependence and independence in life works. For example, as children, our money is dependent on the pocket money our parents give us. Our parents' money is dependent upon their job. The same way a bicycle speed is dependent on its rider, on the other hand, it is independent from its color. Generally speaking, if you are independent of something, it does not affect you in any way, and if you are dependent on something, it can affect you when it changes. These concepts are very important in all aspects of life and science. Physics, astronomy, chemistry all use these concepts of dependency and independency, and maths is the science that helps everyone understand them. In math equations, we know variables. They are the symbols, usually letters, x, y, etc., that represent numbers whose values can change, variate. Variables are interesting and helping as they too can be either be independent or dependent on other variables. Dependent variables depend on other variables to determine their value. Independent variables do not depend on other variables to have a value. We could say that an independent variable can change the values of a dependent variable. In fact, there can be many independent variables that can change the values of a dependent variable. But no other variable can change the value of an independent variable. An independent variable variates its value completely autonomously. Let's see an example. Anna gives a test with 25 multiple choice questions and earns 4 points for every correct answer. How did she score on the test? Let's start by analyzing our word problem. We have one constant, a value that does not change, and two variables. The constant is the number of the multiple choice questions, they are 25. And the variables are how many correct answers she has scored and the score of the test. Now we have to think which variable depends upon the other to calculate its value. That would be our dependent variable. Do the number of correct questions determine the score of the test? Or does the score of the test determine the number of the correct questions? Well, we all know it's the first. The number of the correct answers determines the score of the test. That means the score of the test is the dependent variable and the independent variable is the number of the correct answers. Now be careful! That is different from the fact that I can find the number of the correct answers if I am informed of the score of the test, knowing that its correct answer is 4 points. That does not change the fact that the score of the test is calculated based on the number of Anna's correct answers. Let's look at another example. Anna and her brother Alex are now baking cookies for their class. Two cookies for each classmate. How many cookies do they need to bake? Here we have again two variables and one constant. The constant is the number of cookies each classmate gets. That would be two. And the variables are how many classmates they have and the number of cookies they need to bake. Now again, we have to think which variable depends upon the other to calculate its value. That would be our dependent variable. Do the number of classmates determine the number of cookies they need to bake? Or do the number of cookies determine the number of their classmates? Again, we all know it's the first. The number of classmates determine the number of cookies they need to bake. That means that the number of cookies is the dependent variable and the number of the classmates is the independent variable. Again, that does not mean that I cannot find the number of their classmates if they tell me how many cookies they had to bake, knowing that they made two for each. That does not change the fact that the number of the cookies they baked is based on the number of their classmates. To see how the independent variable changes the value of the dependent variable, we can create an equation for this word problem and solve it. Here. By changing the value of the classmates, we can see how that changes the value of the number of cookies. Here are some examples. We could build a table with possible classmate numbers and equivalent number of cookies that need to be baked. Based on those values, we can build a line that represents the functional dependency between the two variables. The dependent one we depict on the y-axis and the independent one we depict on the x-axis. Or, we could use those values to build a bar graph. 
Let's work now to create the same output for the word problem with Anna's test score.